how did you, what was the process of like that? How did you find her voice for that? Because it, like as a director, right? You're directing somebody else. So this is your, this was your chance to like be like, this is my creation. Yeah. So how did that? How was that process? How did that come up? Well, I knew they asked me uh, to be on critical role, and um, I mean, I was the efficient. Travis and Laura's wedding, so we're all great, great friends. And uh, uh, they said, come up with a character. And I was like, whatever you want. And they said, okay. And not really knowing anything, I went uh, and I looked at what they had. And then I said, well, what, the, what don't they have? They don't have a warlock. I said, okay, well, what's a good race for a warlock? And everyone went, and in the internet is just all T Blink, T Blink warlock. He must be a T Blink warlock. And my twin sister was big in the wow, and she was playing a paladin in the t and I was like, oh, that makes sense. So I'll do that. And then coming up with my backstory was, we went to a con on the big island four years ago, and we walked out onto Papuna outside of the spotlight, and the Milky Way just sort of exploded down upon us. And I've been obsessed with the stars and the moon, my whole life, but the stars since then. So I just thought, well, again, in moments of fear, what do I know? I, I came from me, what's my safety place? What's something that comforts me? Is every time I go out and see the moon, I'm comforted. Day or night, I just look up and go, oh my. Uh, so I knew that I wanted her to have something to do with that. And then thinking about her name, I was like, oh, let's start with a Z. They don't have any Zs, you know, and then I was like, Zilda, Zilda, Zarka, Zara. Zara. And that was it, that I knew the voice, and I knew the name at that point instantly was Zara. And that she was just going to be sort of, uh, my, what I do when I uh, am afraid is I isolate. So I started with that. That's my truth, is I, I'm an extrovert and introvert, so I started with isolation, and that's how she spent most of her life, was in isolation. And I was like, all right, I'll start from my truth, and my place, and branch out from there. And then it just became what it was on the show, which is all stuff I didn't expect. Uh, the baby, Cash and Zara's baby, was a five minute before let's surprise the cast by going on in the finale, and then surprise Matt by, hey, you wanna be pregnant? And Will's like, yeah, let's be pregnant. And so <laughs> that man had no idea that was gonna happen. So, you know, it yeah, was... Will not turn up in real life, just to make sure it was authentic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I have a conversation between you and Max. It was so great because I didn't know how much, how much do people tell. Everybody's very quiet about their own backstories. But the greatest thing for me about Dean is that I have been directing other people's lines. I've been directing other actors. As an actor, I've been speaking other people's lines, even though it's like, well, I'm not to go with my character. Somebody else created it. Somebody else gave it life first before I put my voice to it. With D&D and with writing and composing music and anything you do that comes from you, it's your baby. So that was really for me first time, you know, so it was really exciting and wonderful just to see where she goes because I finally understood, it's like, well, as a writer or as a creator, do you know where it's going to end? And people like, no, I had no idea. I just started with this idea. And it was fun to see where that story went, and now I understand what they mean when they say that. So a creative process is fascinating. You always think, well, you got to have a beginning, I'm going to end from the beginning, and then fill in the blanks. And that's not the case. At least it wasn't for me, so. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much.